Good morning. It's Tracy. I'm back. It's been a while. Uh, and it's just that life has been so busy. And you know, I have my other channel. And now I'm part of TikTok, which has been crazy. So I just put a little bit of makeup on this morning. And I am just going to take this off. Except for my mascara. Just because it just is, I don't want to say the most work to do, but looking in here, it's the hardest thing to do. Oh, I should have, I should have um, taken out my mirror. That would help, but I think I have a compact. I can do that. So anyway, uh, I actually have made out of like a schedule for myself and I'm hopefully going to do Mondays and Fridays on my adventures over 50 uh, YouTube channel and then um, and that's why I'm on, on TikTok and now I'm starting one for my fitness fashion and beauty over 50 because I really miss doing my makeup and I really realize that my mental health that you know sometimes the hobbies and the things that you love to do those are the last things you do when they should be the first things you do when you feel like de-stressing. And so I'm learning that. Sorry, I'm in a parking lot. You know, I live in the van. Uh, so I got a new wig. I won't show it to you yet, but I'll show it to you when I'm done. Um, and you know, I promised you guys, and so, so this is some of my skincare. <laughs> And this is some of my skincare. And so, yeah, that's my skincare. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys, um, I've been promising you that. Um, so I'm gonna start with, I start with this all the time. It's the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. So it's a tint, so you can just use it as a tint, but I like to use it because it's also a moisturizer and I usually just use my fingers and then be very gentle around your eyes. So anyway, uh, you know, I leave in the van in about three weeks. I am so excited. Um, and I have been working as a pharmacy tech and that has really, 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 really um, been challenging because that's what I left last year. I'm going to put a little bit of this Incognito Mega Last Wet n Wild. Uh, it's concealer. Um, uh, yeah, so I have, you know, there's the new booster out now. They actually, we had a lot of people quit, imagine that, in the pharmacy. And um, they don't really have many people anymore that can do injections. So now they're gonna teach some people, which is good, but I've been helping out um, otherwise. So let's see what I got. So I'm just gonna try and do a quick application, my tried and true. Cover Girl of Olay. I really like this, like I said, because um, uh, as I get older, it has some, uh, it's the oil of Olay in there, so it's moisturizing. And you can build this, so you can put it on like a tint kind of, or you can build it to be, uh, have more coverage. And I'm just using this little sponge here. So, And then guess what? I don't know, it's like, oh, it's 255 here. So I am sitting in a parking lot across from my gym. So after I do this, I'm gonna go work out. So I'm sure they will be very impressed to see how much I get ready for Working out. Okay. Make sure you bring it down. Do my forehead a little bit. Like I 
face it. This is just gonna be a quick, I just felt like I've been feeling like doing makeup, but you know what happens? That I've been so busy during the day and working at um, the pharmacy and, and then uh, working on my other videos that it's hard to find time to do it. So then when I do wanna do it, it's the end of the night and um, so it's just a matter of um, having the time to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I think I used this one. So this was the brow. Let's see, this one was eye stamp and eyebrow stencil. And this is in the color 03. I think I had gotten it too dark before. Oh, and I don't wanna spill. Last time I spilled, oh yeah, it's just a stamper. So it's just like that. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do this. These are my eyebrows. I just put a little bit of pencil in them this morning. Um, so let me entertain you. Okay, so I'm just going to put on some powder now. Just kind of set that a little bit. It's funny, I, uh, I'm trying to get, like, organized in the van and <laughs> get rid of stuff that I don't need. But some reason, I need all my skincare and all my makeup. And I've collected makeup along the way. And, you know, I don't wear a lot of makeup when I'm traveling. Look at that beauty. Um, so, uh, yeah. It's just in me. I had, I just went to North Dakota to work on a shoot and um, I had so much fun. So let's see, what should we use here? How about let's go for, hmm, actually go for this like kind of sparkly gray. Hey, why not? I'm gonna tap it, but and then I can't really Don't you love it when people like have their their car stereos on so you can hear exactly what they're playing? I'm so happy they can share it with all of us. It's a big truck. Uh, so then in the crease, let's see. Then let's go with this like darker blue one right here. These are kind of I'm just gonna kind of blend that in the crease there, and then we'll blend it out. Like I said, this is just kind of a quick, a quick one. Um, and then let's. Do this. I'm gonna wipe this one off. I have a wet wipe over here. So I just kind of wipe that off. And I'm gonna go with just this light. And I'm just gonna put a little bit under under the brow there. Just to make it pop. Pop, pop, pop. And then I just uh oh so then I'm gonna blend all this together. I don't have a mirror all I'm looking at the viewfinder. So, there we go. Um, how are all of you? Ah, <sighs> let me know. So I'm going to take a little of this black here, and I'm just going to line just the corners there. So this is a flat brush like that. And then the top. I'm going to do, I thought I saw, oh, here we go. So this is gonna be interesting. I can't. I'm always very cautious now because uh, that last time, I think I was doing the brow, or no, I was doing the winged eyeliner, these things, I love them. One of them dried out, I don't know if I didn't close it. Um, 
it's the eye method winged eyeliner stamp for perfect wings and it does give you perfect wings uh, but I was shaking it and the top came off and went all over my bedding and I'm getting my bedding washed right now and so I don't have if it's built on there then it would be on my mattress so so I just have my little so I'm gonna try with this so this is uh, like eyeliner and I'm gonna see see how it's just a thin line Sorry, oh, trying to see. I can't see as close up with this eye. Okay, don't work. And, oh, I seem to always do that. So, just doing a little wing. hard part is, is getting them even, but I think that's pretty good. Works for me. Um, so yeah, so at the end of this, before I go, before I put the wig on and give you the final, final, final reveal, um, I'm going to show you some of the, um, of the, the stuff I use, the serums and the skincare. I'm just gonna put a quick, my hair's in the way. I really wanna put on some fake eyelashes, but I'll do that uh, next time. I wanna plan out, so I set a schedule for myself and I wanna stick to it. It seems like if you write stuff down that you stick with it more. And so I'm hoping that's it. Like I said, sometimes I just get so tired that when it comes to, even though I love it, when it comes down to actually doing it, um, I lose my motivation. So, that happens. Okay, let's do the eyebrows. I don't know if this was the one I picked out last time, but we're going with it. Because there's a whole plethora of them. Uh, of the shapes that you can use but we're just going with this one this is eye method again I don't know it says it's a number five and I don't even know let's see hopefully this didn't dry out Oof. Oof. but look at what a difference and not that you want it this thick I mean maybe you do but look at do you see how this, oh, throwing my bangs out. Do you see how your eyebrow shape can change? Now look at this. See how open this eye looks? And it's just because my eyebrow goes up and it draws your attention up there. It lifts my whole face. And look at this. I need to use this more often. I look 20 years younger with it lifted like that. Uh, like I said, I don't have my mirror. I have a feeling I'm not. Well, I don't know, let's try it. Um, I don't know if you can just go over it like that without the stencil. But, oh, here's the comb. I mean, look what a difference. Oh, I'm <laughs> myself in the eye. I'm dangerous. It's weird because I'm so used to doing it on other people that um, trying to do it in the viewfinder here is hard. Okay. But look at, I mean, it just took like years off and I know they're not really I know this one is thicker maybe I'll I have a so I have oh you know what it broke down there I'm just gonna add a little bit 
more on there. <laughs> so this is what I usually just use in the morning is my old Maybelline. All right. Just going to draw it on a little bit to make it a little more even with the other one. Yeah. That is crazy to me. What a difference and how much younger and how much more open your eyes look um, when your eyebrows have a bigger arch. So let's see what's next, what's next, what's next. We'll do a little contouring, quick contouring. So let's use this and I'm gonna go underneath my cheekbone there underneath you know and I know I always say it and just so you know um, darkness makes things recede it gives the illusion that like this is more carved out than it is and light brings things forward um, so I am going to so put on a little blush here. And that's just like the apples of your cheeks, like where you'd naturally blush. And if you want to um, like sculpt more of your, um, you know, your jawline or your chin. All right, and then my Old Faithful. This is the Master Strobing Stick. I've had this for quite a while. I just do that. It just makes it look like my nose is thinner. And you know what? We'll just put a little, a little bit there. And we'll just tap it in. And I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit. Maybe just get that a little. All right, so, oh, and then the lips. This is Power On Plumping Lip Gloss. <laughs> These three girls walking by, and they're cute. They're having fun. Uh, hmm. You can feel, you can feel it. You can feel it pumping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let me show you um, a little bit of some of, I always feel like I'm losing stuff. Oh, here we go. So just a couple things in my little pack over here. So I usually use this vitamin C serum this is just off the shelf. Um, this I forgot at my mom's, but I just got it again. It's the number seven uh, resurface peel. And you put it on, you can put it on for just like five, five to 15 minutes, I think at night. Um, and it just helps resurface. Uh, so I haven't used that in a while, I just got it back. Uh, this collagen boost, um, I usually put this on at night. And let's see, I like this one too, the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. These are all things that you can just buy like over the counter or at Target. I know I bought some of them at Marshall's. This Hyaluronic, hyaluronic Acid plus Vitamin B5. Um, I like that. And let's see what else is in here. Can't go wrong with Aquaphor. I need a new, oh, I had some eye, eye stuff. Moisture Boost from Avon, eye cream, 
that. Or the e.l.f. 50 milligram CBD eye cream, smoothing and reviving eye cream. So that, I use either of those. Oh, that came off. All right, and then I use, so I really like Dermatology, the vitamin C, E, and F serums. And I'm gonna talk more. I printed out all this stuff about serums and uh, I just found it today, so I'm gonna talk about that. I told you I already used the Universal Tint. The Age Reversal Neck Cream, uh, the Soothe and Recovery Cream, and then they have new packaging here. This is the Hydrofader, the Renew. Oh, because I love, I use the, um, I still have a little bit of it left. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. The Advanced Dark Spot Corrector. This had hydroquinone in it, but now in the US you can't use hydroquinone anymore. So this is like my last bottle. I mean, which is probably good, but um, really help. The Vitamin C5. Um, I have to open these and start using them. Like I said, it's, it's a little, you know, even I, get overwhelmed sometimes with all I have. So the Broad Spectrum SPF 45. Again, always I had basal cell cancer on my face and I'm always worried about it coming back. And so I always, 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 always use um, SPF. And then the Universal Tinted Moisturizer. And, oh my goodness. The Water Cream Moisturizer. And then the Pre-Cleansing Oil. So. Um, I have over-the-counter stuff you can just get at Target or at Marshalls, and I have, uh, you know, the medical grade. And we will talk about serums next week. So, I want to keep this under 30 minutes, and so I am going to um, put my wig on and see, see what she looks like, okay? Let's see the transformation. I'll be right back. This isn't a bad wig. I think it cost me like $20. And uh, yeah, I would have to like fool with the bangs a little more. I would probably like curl them a little bit under. But you know, when you first get a wig, you have to work with it and uh, kind of, you know, form it the way you want to. But yeah, wow, really blonde. Uh, and it came with uh, not just one, you know, they have a wig cap, but two. And there's a little note on here. And it says, may the happiness always accompany you and your family. Hope our wig, our wig makes your beautiful life. Isn't that sweet? So there we go. Oh, and this is... Oh. <laughs> I'm not even taking that out. I hit my head up here. This is long. So... Yeah, this is Marisher, made in China. That's what it is. If you want to look that up, I just got it on Amazon. And I was going to see if it had, oh, Platinum Blonde. Uh, I don't know how many inches it is, but that's what it is. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon if you look that up. So, all right. I'm going to the gym now. Um, okay, you have a great day and I'm hoping I stick to my schedule and I'll see you next week. And let's talk about serums and skincare, okay? Because I can't help myself. Oh, and with uh, the Dermatology, their claim to fame is the uh, Needleless Serum. So if you've ever tried any of that, uh, let me know, leave it in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great week. Bye.